Okay, for this problem, they want us to evaluate secant of theta equals 3 pi over 2. So guys, this is just like what we've done before. We need to figure out where is 3 pi over 2. Well, I'll draw a unit circle. And by doing my unit circle, if I take a look at this, if I remember if I start here, that's 0, that's pi, then here's 2 pi. Now remember, what I like to do to make this easiest for myself, easiest, is that? Yeah, to make this the most easy, um, I'm going to look at this and say, well, I can have 2 over 2, right? Same thing, that still equals pi. So therefore, here would be pi over 2, right? Because that's one half of it. And here would be 3 pi over 2, as this equals 2 pi or 4 pi over 2. So just make sure you guys convert it to rewrite it so you can see it better. Well, now I see that, oh, here's my point. What is this coordinate point? 0, comma, negative 1. And they asked us to find the secant. Well, remember, secant is equal to 1, oh, secant, secant of theta is equal to 1 over <coughs> cosine of theta. Well, what's cosine? Remember, cosine, what we talked about was, um, was your x, x over your radius. Well, since I'm using the unit circle, my radius is 1. So it's really just the cosine is, um, is my x term. So I look at here and I say, all right, so secant of theta equals um, the cosine of this point. Well, what's the cosine of this point? 0, right? So it's 1 over 0. And can you divide by 1 over 0? No. So secant of theta is undefined. Any questions? No. Just notice the difference. Do you guys notice how this was on the unit circle? So we could easily find the point. If it's not on the unit circle, you have to draw a right triangle to find those um, to find the rest of the points.